Arkham game developers to Matt that and Doug teaches UE5. Yes. I was ugh, going to show off physics volume because that's water, but I just found out that 5.1 actually has water, fluid surface, etc., etc. So, uh, we're going to do that. We are going to go to plugins. I'm going to type in water. And it's experimental, so we're going to restart it. Wait, are you going to show off how to do this? No, I still need to do some experimentation with this. Um, yeah, save selected. Yeah, so I was just all like, wait, there's a water system now in Unreal? Okay. I didn't know that was a plug-in, and... Oh, I gotta do water extras. <laughs> what are the water extras? I don't know. That's, that's the experimentation. So, uh, oh, I could put this in Insane Heroes too. It's experimental. You know what that means. Well, same goes with um, same goes with uh, EQS uh, environmental query systems. But we still use that. Okay. Yeah, I might as well. Bleh. Hey, shut up, phone. So, what are you going to show off? Uh, splines. The beauty of splines. I put that in Insane Heroes, ooh, and I can put it in my boss's project, and I can charge him for it, too. How much are you going to charge him? I don't know, probably five bucks. Was it, well, actually, I might charge him a little more than that, because I could just, because it's R&D related, so that means I have to learn how to use it. Yeah. And it's taking extra long to load. Well, what are you going to do? Well, this looks... Are you at least got a timestamp when this is gonna, when the tutorial actually happens. Yes. Ugh. Mush smoke. Mm. Mm. You might as well just um. How the building hunt? How's the building hunting going? <laughs> yeah, let's leave it at that. <laughs> Are you gonna do early access then? Probably. I'll just say that the overworld is nowhere near finished. Well, technically speaking, it is nowhere near finished, because there has to be the military base, the science complex, the fucking um, nuclear power plant, the park, the college, the high school. That's it. Oh, that's it. Yeah, just that. <laughs> Oh, wait, no, and the boardwalk. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jesus, why don't you just uh, add in, I don't know, a theme park to stuff? Oh, wait, you still have Chubby Chaser's Mall. Oh, yeah. Well, that's part of the shopping center. Well, that is part of that's actually. Yeah, I forgot to add, say, the shopping center. Because Chubby Chaser's Mall is completely closed. Speaking of, I need to have a Chubby, uh, a Chubby Chaser. Why do you call? Why did you call it Chubby Chasers Mall? I don't honestly know. That's what we call. That's what I called it with insane driving, and it just transferred over. Fort Kill Crazy is still a thing. I mean, ugh. And the shopping center is still the shopping center. Shut up, narrator. <laughs> uh, I gotta add water. Yes. I'll restart it later, not now. <laughs> Let's go to Untitled. Because that's because I completely forgot to name it. So how do splines so how do splines work? Okay, so in order to have splines we need to make this technically speaking, we don't need to make this editable, but I'm going to make this editable. So what's new about landscapes? Um, landscapes you actually have layers now. Uh, so if I just say but in order to access them you have to say edit. Uh, enable edit layers. Once this is done, you can't undo it. That's fine. Let's go prep the shaders. What are you gonna wait? Do you ha how how do splines work? You can with splines you can have like hilly roads and all that nonsense. So that's exactly and that's exactly what I'm going to have to do. Um, but I'm just going to use I'll use something, but I don't know what. It's just gonna be a generic mesh that I have. And I'll settings uh, show plugin content uh, vehicle template vehicles 
What are you looking for? Uh, honestly, I was going to look for the water, but it's fine. It's not the end of the world if I can't find it. Besides, I said, besides that, that actually involves experimentation, so I'm going to have to do that. Let's go to landscape. So how we add layers is I'm going to go to manage. I'm going to right click. I said right, right click. Right click on the layer and I'm going to click on create. Now this is layer zero and layer one. I'm going to rename this. So layer zero, I'm just going to call, hey, rename it. Uh, I'm going to hit F2 to rename and I'm just going to call this um, world. And layer one, I'm going to rename. I'm going to call this trail. Now I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to say reserve for splines. Once it's once you it can't be undone, which is fine. All I want are splines. Uh, uh, excuse me. Anyway, so now all I have to do is click on splines. Uh, oh, oh no, manage. And if memory serves correct, you have to hit Control Left click. Yep. And Control Left click again to make the splines. I'm just gonna. Is there going to be any cohesion to this? Nope. Just going to make it around the world. No! <sighs> control left click. You have to keep control left clicking. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, what? I know. Uh, current level. Splines again. Try to get all the splines. Mm. Segments. You click on yeah. You click on segments. And now it needs a three D. Uh, now it needs some three D stuffs. So spline. You see where it says spline meshes. It has zero array elements. I'm gonna click on this plus sign. Now I click on this. Then we just use whatever mesh we can. Uh, I'll use floor. Fuck it. Boop. Yeah, you're going to have to do some updating and stuff like that, but the beautiful part on the splines, let me hit W, for instance, I can just control, I don't know, control left click, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, what happened, accidentally, you want to click on segments, select all the segments, and then I'm just going to go back to floor again, there's floor, there you are. So now, all I can do right now is, like, highlight one, hit W, move it up. Ow! Oh, yeah. The, the terrain will, the land, terrain, landscape will auto-update. Why is it, um, why is it so, like, absorbed and stuff like that? Yeah, you're gonna have to, you have to fuck with this. You're gonna have to like screw it, screw with this. See, this is one of the this is actually one of the reasons why you don't want to make. Um, this is actually one of the reasons why I don't want to use this for the city. This is actually um, when I was creating the city. Uh -huh. This, it's not. The problem with this is it's nowhere. It's not point to point. It's not point to point. You could. Uh, screw with the the scale and stuff like that. Uh, what do I, where is scale? It's. I'll just highlight the segments. Uh, there you are. Scale of the mesh. So you can use like um, instead of one, I'll just do point five. Point five, point five. To make it smaller and shit like that. But either way, it's it's not it's not very good point to point wise. You're gonna have to screw with this a lot. And even then, to be fair, you're not necessarily restricted to uh, the mesh. Like for instance, if you want, you can. Um, well, yeah, never mind. I don't know what I'm saying. What I'm, what I'm actually talking. What I'm on about. It's Sunday. I'm tired. And I have a lot of recording sessions to do with Captain K. But you see my point. It's not... It's not that good. 
that that being said, it's not that being said, it's not that I didn't it's I did use this when I did the forest stage for my bo for my boss's uh, fantasy project. I used uh, I used these I, I used uh, spline mesh. I just had to screw around with it. Hell, I hella screwed around with it to make the forest trail and stuff like that. What do you mean? Uh, I will go to recent projects, fantasy project stuff. When are you gonna title drop the, the that that project? When I'm ready. All you need to know is this. My boss is paying me for that project. To, uh, on, uh, it's assignment based, but it's still it's still money. So that's where my reputation needs to stand. It has to stand on its own two feet. I, I, is this another showcase? Uh, it's sort of, but this is like the height map itself, um, the landscape, excuse me, uses splines. So let's go to landscape. Let's go to Menage. Hey, the splines. All this. Ow. Yeah. All these are splines. The roads, the trail itself. Okay. Yeah. So that's what I mean when you say, when I say you have to fine tune this. And on top of that, the spline mesh itself can have forks in the roads. So the so when you click on one spline, um, let me click on this one. I hit Control Left Click here and here, so that way it has that fork in the road. It's it's good, but it's not point. It's not perfect. It's not point to point. And um, I made sure that the the fall off was a lot greater than the mesh than the mesh dimensions. <laughs> so this is the trail. I'll show you off what I have now, but like it's. Uh, recent levels, first person example of that. And, what the hell is that? Flying AI. Ow! Yeah. And if I hit, I believe it's Q. Yep, traversal power. Ah, uh, where's your flying AI? Ah, uh, that's the one of the, oh yeah, I gave him a double jump. Wow, that dude moves fast. Yeah, no, I know. Moves way too fast. I actually have to go over uh, here. This is, uh, yes. I have to go. Where do I normalize this thing? Is it here? You. I have to screw with this. And I have to screw with this and this. Why the tick rate? Because mm, its its movement is based on the its movement is based on three things: um, um, uh, the time, uh, the world in delta seconds, the normalization factor, and its straight up velocity. So I have to screw with this number something fierce. And, and if you don't want him cluttering up the screen, just hit X and he'll go invisible. Ah, oh, cool. Yeah. Boop boop. But that's not the big update that I had to give my boss, and he whew, was more than happy to pay me for that update that I gave him. What? What? This wasn't enough? Oh, no, he was he was happy with with uh, the your flying sidekick NPC. The traversal power and the double jump. But the piezo resistance was what, what was how to circumvent animations. Either way, next week we will focus on getting the water up and running, because I'm going to look into that. Otherwise, I would just, I mean, like, if you want me to show off a physical volume, I can, but, like, no. If the fluid surface thing is is up to snuff, then, yeah, I'm going to use it uh, and show off how to use it. Um, and as far as huts are concerned, I mean, like, I'll have a hut. Well, a couple of huts. No, I take that back. We're going to brush at it. Really? Yeah, we're gonna brush out the shit out of those houses. Okay. End it here, narrator. And there you have it, game developers. Tune in next week for Mad Mad Hen Teaches. Wait, wanna call it Mad Hen Teaches? Let's leave it as Doug Teaches. Alright, Doug Teaches, UE5. Yes. Mad Hen Teaches. Shut up. Like, comment, and subscribe. Boom.